Hello, in this video, we are going to reseal this 80 gallon aquarium. The aquarium had multiple leak points that we are going to seal today. Now let's discuss the product that we're going to use to reseal this aquarium. So the products that we're going to use are some paper towels. You can use uh, old rags, isopropyl rubbing alcohol, Aquion aquarium sealant, some masking tape, and a utility knife. These are the only products you will need to reseal this. As you can see, right here was one of the failure points and there were like five other failure points where the glue has actually changed color and started disintegrating and then the water gets underneath and that's where we had all the failures on this. So we gotta scrape all this off, get it cleaned up, let's get started. tougher to get off than I was hoping for. Some of it came off really easy, some really fought me, especially in the corners. Um, if you're afraid of sharp objects, this might not be the job for you. But you got to make sure you get all the glue off because you're going to be using uh, rubbing alcohol on this and it's going to make it a lot easier the more glue you get off. Now it wasn't leaking on the sides on this corners, all four corners, so we didn't remove any of that. We just do in the bottom where it was leaking at. So now we got to get it really, really clean so that it doesn't leak again. Okay, now that we have finished cleaning, make sure that uh, when you're cleaning you get it really good and get all the glue off. Any glue left could be a failure point. Now we're going to mask off where we're going to be gluing at. Now you can skip it and just kind of freewheel it with some glue and maybe it'll do a good job and maybe it'll just smear it all over the place. So let's take the extra time tape it all off and then we'll do the gluing. Now that I got it taped off and we got the glue I'm using clear glue. I know it should be black, but black was twice the price. And use an old credit card or something to help smoothen it out instead of your finger.
now that we're done spreading the glue, we need to take off the tape and then we're going to let it sit for at least two or three days. Uh, one day for tacky and then two days I think it was for adding fish. I will wait an extra day and then we will wash it and fill it up and see how it goes. Let's get the tape off before it dries because it's going to be a lot easier to take it off now than after it dries. Now that we got the tape off, we'll let it sit for the three days and then we'll come back and we'll scrape all the excess glue that uh, got smeared in places and wash it. So we'll see you then. Been three days. We took it outside and we rinsed it, brought it back in and now we're ready to fill it up. But we're only going to fill it up to a little bit and we're going to wait a day, make sure it doesn't leak. And then we'll slowly start adding water to it and make sure it does, keeps on, doesn't leaking. And let's do this. <laughs> 